Tambers, welcome back for another episode of Free and Budget Campsites, Queensland. My name's Peter and I'm travelling around Australia road testing campsites. Just a quick reminder, please subscribe, turn your notifications on so you can get free and budget campsites as they come up. And guys, at the end of it, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, it's totally up to you. Righto, we're in a place called Winton. Apparently I got told you don't pronounce the T, so it's Winnin. I still call it Winton. So look, we're just around five kilometers away from the town on the way to Mount Isa. Now, apparently I've got told, if you ever come here, this is the capital of the dinosaurs. I'm gonna to go to the visitor centers and ask a bit of information about the actual dinosaurs. And like I said before, if I don't say it in the show, so just to have a scroll down the bottom and everything you need to know, phone numbers, emails, websites, the whole lot, is down below. Right out, we're at a caravan place called Wanderers Caravan Park, Winton. They just recently built this place and they're still building it now. Everything here is brand new and the sites are fantastic. I reckon I had a look at the toilets and they're gonna be a high one. Let's not waste time. Let's get in the caravan park and let you guys have a look at it. Righto, when you come into the park underneath the big awning with the uh, Mini Moke, which is a fantastic vehicle, and the blue and yellow caravan, they must go for Parramatta maybe. Look, the signs are everywhere. It says office this way. What you do, you just pull over to the left over here, stop your vehicle, go in and see the caretakers. Beautiful people, go see them. They'll help you out. They'll put you in the best spot they possibly can. And the sights are really good. We'll see them very shortly. Look, if you need any information about it, the phone number's on the bottom, the website. Now, look, when you get here, it's, it, look, the prices will change, depends what season it is and everything else, but a powered site's around 35 bucks these days. Now, that's pretty good. They've got no unpowered sites because out here you really need power. You know what I mean? Look, they do have unpowered sites. If the place is really, really full and you don't need a place, they'll squeeze you in anyway. They're, they're here to accommodate you. Look, when you get here, there's a, quite a few books they've got for, um, in here. Look, there are the books that you can actually get from the visitor center, but instead of going to the visitor center, they've got it all here. This is all about the dinosaurs and all the festivals and stuff like that. There's some cruises in here. Look, it's a pretty thick book, so it's 135 pages, so there's quite a lot of stuff in here. Now, you've got this other one, the Outback Aussie Tours. Now, they do that also down at Longreach, so they're up here also as well. Look, the prices start from 60 bucks and they go to a family at $157, which is not too bad. And they take you all around the place. They take you on the cruise, um, as you can tell right there. The cruise. Yeah, so look, do yourself a favor, come in, see the guys. They'll fit you in a, a caravan spot. Just letting you know that the park is under construction at the moment. They're actually putting another 40 sites in here. So eventually this park is going to be one of the best in Winton. It's brand new. They've got 40 sites at the moment, which I'll show you very shortly. And also inside the shop at the moment, they're starting to put stuff in fridges like milks, drinks, stuff like that, souvenirs. Mate, when you come in here, have a look, spend some money. Good on you guys. Let's have a look at a bit more of the park. Right out of the campsites. How cool are these campsites? Look, they're a decent sized campsite, enough to put your van, enough to put your car in here, put your awning out, the whole lot. And you don't even have to unhook. Mate, you've got power, which is right here. Pretty easy, lift it up, plug it in. Make sure you turn on the fuses because sometimes they leave them off if they are. So just make sure, wondering why you're not getting electricity, check the fuse. That's what happened to me when I turned up the power on. I went, why haven't I got no power? Where's the power gone? But I went out to the fuse box and turned it on and voila, peanut butter sandwiches, I got power. Look, they are brand new slabs here and everything else. It is a bit gravelly and everything else, so just put your mat down, or if not, when you, when you come out, you walk on the concrete, you don't bring crap into your caravan. Just a quick mention, there is portable water right near the, the electrical boxes. Look, most caravan parks do have the water right near the electrical boxes. Now, there they are there. 
it's only a three quarter um, thing, so it's easier to work. Now, right down the bottom here is the pl um, is some drains for your waste water. Not your black water, but your grey water can go in here. There's applications you can actually put it in there. If you've got a bigger tube, you have got a lid on here that you can unscrew, take off, put the big one inside. Because I know my pipe won't go in that small hole. If worse comes to worse, you take off the big one, put your big pipe in there. No worries, clambers. Let's have a look at the park a bit more. Rightio, 5.30 every day. They come out and they light this fire. There's some tires to sit around, as you can tell. Few people have been here before. But look, they come out here, have a bit of a wine. The sunset's on my left, which I'm going to come tonight and grab the sunset, because apparently they get some fan fantastic sunsets out here and what a place to see it there's nothing in your road to see a sunset at the moment no trees no nothing so you actually see the sun going <whistles> ka plop how, far, how good's this you sit around there bring your guitar I might even bring the guitar tonight but i don't want to hurt anyone's ears you bring your own chair unless you want to sit on one of the tires and it but look it is nice out here it's open it's fresh beautiful can't wait Howdy doody clambers, welcome back again. We're just in the town of Winton right now. Look, seriously, come and see the Matilda Centre. They give you a lot of paperwork involved. I'll just put this, sorry about that banjo. I'll just show you some of the paperwork they gave her. It's one of the dinosaur places. It's a bit far from here, this one. But if you go there, look, it's worth the while. That's one of them. Here's the other one here. It's just outside of town. This is the actual dig that they are still digging for dinosaur bones. Look, when you get it and stuff like that, sorry about one-handed, but it gives you a big map of everything else and it shows you where to go, what to do. You must ring up on this, the phone number for this joint is underneath in the website and even their email and if i do miss any of the information please look on below on the description it will show you everything you need to know sorry banjo <laughs> right and also when you get here they give you a wilton map which shows you all the information you need to know about winton itself Walsh Matilda Centre, um, the Opal Work, the Gregory Hotel, the hotels and everything else. Look, they give you the whole map and everything else. Great ladies in there. They're very knowledgeable about it. They also give you a information about the Walsh and the Matilda Centre. Now, it's a walk-through guided tour yourself. The prices are as followed down the bottom, but just please do remember the prices will change throughout the year. Um, but it gives you all the information about what to do in there, what to expect. There it is there. Yes, yes. So when you do come here, have a look at the joint. Look, I'll show you a little bit of around what it looks like now. And while you're looking at that then, I will give you some fun fact about Banjo Patterson. He was born in 1984 and died in 1941. Uh, which was, a, well, he was pretty good. He was like close to 80 or something. He also wrote words to Waltz and Mature, which was first performed at the Gr North Gregory Hotel on April the 6th, 1895. Fun fact, Clampers, what do you reckon? Okay, duty grooves, when you come into Winton, mate, the Gregory Hotel, this is where Banjo Patterson first performed Waltz and Matilda. Now, every day at 4.30, there is a gentleman that does poultry. You get to sit down, have a beer, watch the poultry. Fantastic. Remember, every day at 4.30, guys. Now, look, if you need the address of the actual hotel itself, it's underneath. Um, don't know if they've got a Facebook page, but I'll look into that for you. And if it is, it's down there. Or if not, like I said, in the links below. No worries, Clambers. Let's have a look. Actually, I am going to try to go to this place called The Musical Fence. Talk to you soon. Right, uh, when you do get to Winton, mate, seriously, come have a look at this joint. Mate, it's called the Musical Fence. It's got a whole lot of metal things around here, as you can tell, listen. Bass drum, 
It's got a drum set made out of, mate, it wouldn't, look at this. I'm not gonna get there and start bashing it and make a noise, but mate, seriously, come down and have a look. There is some sticks down here at the moment that you can actually pick up there, any rubber, but that's all you need. You don't need anything harder than that. You have a little bit of a bash, but they say, please respect the equipment when you're here. How's that, eh? Winton. Birthplace of Qantas. I don't know about that one. I got told that Qantas was born in Concurry. Then it moved to Winton where it was first discovered. And then it grew up in Longreach. I don't know if it's true or not, but this is what I got told by the locals and you don't want to argue with the locals. Also in Winton, is a truck graveyard. Mate, seriously, they've got some old heap of crap in here. But look, they're old school stuff, Bedfords, Fords. Oh, mate, seriously, I haven't seen these vehicles since 1930. It's one of them got steam trucks. Oh, they probably have got a steam truck in here. I haven't even looked at it. But if you have a look now, you can see lots and lots of vehicles that you can go past, take pictures of. If you like old stuff, come out here and see the old truck works, mate. You can't miss it. It's right near the big Winton sign where the actual musical fence is. It's just out on the main road. That's the entrance. Up. When you come to Winton, there's the Royal Theatre Museum. Seriously, you need to come and see this. It's an open air old theatre. It's like a picture theatre, but not actually movies, but flick, 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 flick. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, look, believe it or not, the thing was actually built in 1918, and originally it burnt down 1938, and they rebuilt it by 1939. And then from then on, it was become a skating ring and an open air picture theatre. So look, there's a lot of stuff to see in there at the moment, as you can see. Mate, it's really worth your while. Prices and everything else, or if not, the website and the Facebook page. Now, if I can't fit all the links in there, you know where they are, they're below. So do yourself a favor, come back in time, 1918. How's that? And they've got a brand new laundry. Mate, look, the average price of the machines are $4 wherever I go. I only found it in one campsite that was three bucks. Um, and I'm pretty sure that might have been at Home Hill. Link up there if you want to have a look at Home Hill Caravan Park down in Air. Um, nice caravan park, but look, this one's a lot nicer. All the stuff here is brand new. You got brand new washing machines, which are, there's three washing machines and one dryer. Seriously, it is stinking hot out here and the sun is beaming down at the moment. So you don't really need to use your dryer. Just put them outside and guarantee they'll be dry in probably half an hour. They don't have a dump site out here at the moment, but that's something Kathy was been talking about, to have a dump site out here. So it might be coming soon. Winton. They have got a dump point. It's public and anyone can use it. The address is underneath me right here. Now if you follow the directions, if you punt that thing into your uh, nav man, it'll take you straight here. Look, the dump point is a great dump point. I like these sort of dump points when there's no gravel around, so you don't get soggy feet. I like that. And you don't bring shit in your car. Get it? Shit in your car? Bad joke, sorry guys. Anyway, look, when you do get here, just be careful, there's a tree above me here. Now for RVs, it's gonna be a bit of a problem, especially with mine. I'm standing right on the edge of the concrete and that's where the tree is. And you need to get your RV in here. Now you might be able to squeeze your front of the RV in here. Look, you'll be able to get it in here no matter what. A bit of a, you know, bit of a getting around. Now, it is a normal dump site. It's got no grate over it. It is clean, which is great. Good on you guys for cleaning it. The water here is not portable. If you look at this, look at this. They've got drinking water here. Fill your van up, guys, and it's got a normal tap on it. And believe it or not, somebody's left a little plastic thing on it. So other words, plug your hose in it. Most of the places I've gone to, they've all been pinched. Oh, oh no. well, you never know, but this one hasn't. It's got drinking water, so fill your van up, guys. 
Good on you, Whitney. Rightio, clambers. When you get here, seriously, there's a fair bit to see around this joint. Look, it's not really a kid's playground or anything else, but that could be on the cards very shortly. You never know what Karen might do. Put a bit of a playground for you kids and that, so perfect. Look, it's a great little place to park if you want to go back into Winton and that, but it's only around five kilometres out of town. Look, when they've come here, they've got the old memorabilia stuff, like stuff I haven't even seen before. You know, oh, well, I wouldn't say seen before, like old drill bits and stuff like that. We used to have them on the railways. You know, you've got the old horseshoes, you've got oil containers. Mate, they've got so much bottles and stuff like that, which are that old, it makes me look young. You know, what do you do these days, clampers? You wouldn't believe it, it's going to be a high one. Yes, I reckon. Here it comes. It's coming. Congratulations, mate. Another five out of five bathroom. I cannot pick that bathroom. Look, I understand it is brand new. It's got wheelchair access, even a ramp. It's got a huge bathroom, as you can see right now, for a wheelchair access. All the bathrooms are beautiful, seriously. Kath, you couldn't have done a better job. Good on yous. Sorry, your call can't dial. Guess what? Phone reception is fantastic out here, Clampers. I've got 4G full service out here. And this is Telstra, by the way. Look, there's different places between Optus and Telstra. Uh, a bit of a fight going on. Like the state of origin, you know, sort of type thing. But look. Fantastic out here, I'm getting full bar so I can upload, download, do whatever I need to do out here. So don't worry about phone reception when you get here, guys. guys I hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. If not, give us a thumbs down. Don't forget to turn the notifications on. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. You have a great weekend.